Today, so many people make their home theater systems in their home. Most people who have a home theater system may want to fish the cable through their walls to make the wires look neat and clean. According to the inner structure of your wall, installation method may vary. Hi there. Thank you for tuning in to monoprice.com on our YouTube channel. My name is Steven of the Monoprice Tech Support Team. Today I'll be showing you how to fish several kinds of wires through the wall. Of course, as I mentioned, there are more than 10 different ways to fish wires according to the inner structure of your wall. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fish the wires with two sample wall sets. The first tutorial is going to be a regular wall, which we're going to do in this video. The next set is going to be a wall with a fire block, which we'll be showing you in a later video. Again, like I mentioned, according to the inner structure of your wall, installation may vary. For this tutorial, you'll need some tools. Wire cable fishing kit, such as glow rods and fishing tape, a drill, drywall saw, a screwdriver, a stud finder, a pen or a sharpie, a level, electric tape, and a mounting bracket. But why do we need a mounting bracket? If you don't use a mounting bracket, you can break the drywall. So we use one to protect the drywall and to give us a place to mount the wall plate. This is why do we use structure for most homes these days. To fish cable through the wall, follow the four simple steps. Step one, mark four points before making holes using a stud finder. Using the stud finder, make sure there is no fire block between the first hole and the second hole. If you don't find anything, continue to step two. Step two, using drywall saw, make two holes to insert or take out the cables into the wall. Step three, install the game plate mounting bracket To install the bracket, just make sure the flaps are on the drywall and tighten the screws. Once it's in there firm, you're done. Once you install the bracket, cut a piece of tape and tape the glow rods to the cable, such as shown in the graphic. Step four, drop the cable into the wall from the first hole to the second hole. If the cable gets stuck on the inner side of the wall, pull up the cable from the second hole to the first hole using the fish tape or glow rods. If you find something between two columns, it could be a fire block. If your wall has a fire block, don't stress out. There is only one additional step to fish the wire through the block. Important notice. Local regulations regarding fire block may be different. Please inquire your local fire department before you fish the cable through the fire block. Using stud finder, find the location of the fire block. Make an additional hole just above the fire block. Don't forget to use a pumpkin cut on all three sides. When you make an additional hole using the pumpkin cut, in this case, I'm going to make three pumpkin cuts. The first cut is on the left side, the second cut is on the right side, and the last cut is on the bottom. Then just lift up the piece of drywall. Insert the drill to make a hole in the fire block. Usually diagonal drilling is fine, it's not necessary to be straight. Install the gang mounting bracket. Fish the cables through the additional hole in the fire block using the glow rods or fish tape. Before you patch the drywall, you need to fill the hole using approved fire block sealant. When you are done, put drywall piece back and patch it. To find this product on the web, Go to monoprice.com, click on the search bar, and our product ID number 7013. If you need help or have any questions, feel free to contact the Monoprice tech support team via live chat at monoprice.com. Once again, my name is Steven. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.